Hello my soccer universe. Yes, I'm wearing a Czech jersey on a Europa League background, uh, but it makes all sense and I'll explain to you in a sec. Um, the days around my birthday, you know, when you got all my unpacking videos, but nothing or no reviews, re it was because I spent uh, these days with my family in Prague. We, my wife wanted to visit Prague for a long time. And since the kids had some days off, I also took day days off and I usually try to take days off on, on my birthday because it's right after the Austrian national holiday. So, you know, it's an easy two for one. Um, and then go somewhere. Yeah, we went to Prague and as you can imagine, Prague is a absolutely gorgeous town. It's only a short three and a half hour drive from here as well. So that's an added bonus. Um, and I can fully recommend if you like sightseeing, Prague is one of the best spots in Europe to go to. Uh, bar none. It's just the whole thing there is really, really good. And having my wife with me is actually also cool because I think I know relatively well how to pronounce Czech, but of course I barely understand any Czech. However, my wife, she being Bulgarian, understands Slavic, so it was a really, really good combination uh, figuring out that as well. Yes, there were a few hiccups here and there, but always was nice. Of course, me being the mad soccer friend that I am, I had to check out where the stadiums in Prague. I knew where the Letna Stadium is. Uh, I knew that it's close to the Prague Castle. I have had never been there on my previous two visits. But it seemed kind of, you know, if I can figure out how to get there quickly, it would have been nice to go there. And then I saw that our hotel was located uh, in such a way that we passed by the Slavia Stadium while driving there and driving home. Great, the new Slavia Stadium. And then to top it all off, the Stadium for Bohemians is just a kilometer away from there, meaning two tram stops. So, I made early on a plan to visit all these three stadiums with Sparta proper being the one where I was not the surest because the other ones I wanted to do on the way home, just stop there, check out the stores, maybe they have uh, shirts on sale. Would have been great to get there, uh, although I'm not uh, yet have a check collection anyway, but you know, as a souvenir, I very early on decided I would like to have a Slavia shirt for sure. I uh, also contacted my collector's friends um, and most of them were uh, interested of getting one. In the end, it was Idris who said he wants, uh, if I get there, he wants to have a shirt from Sparta uh, and um, if possible, one from Bohemians. And I know I will never use a Bohemian shirt in my video, but it would have been really nice to have one because the kangaroo in there, you know, I like uh, Australia, I've been to Australia, so kangaroo, and I used once to, instead of saying um, sincerely, I used to say keep on hopping uh, because I was stupid back, back, back then. So I always liked can, 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 kangaroo, so it would have been really nice to get that one as well, but again, needed to be at the right price. And while the Czech Republic is from price level a little bit below Austria, which is good, uh, exactly those goods don't come. And we, I, we also check the online stores uh, of these three clubs. Because I checked out Dukla and Victoria Shishkov were two more Prague teams, but they were a little bit out of the way. So I uh, would not have been able to make it there. But those three, I was dead set on. And yeah, we uh, got a list from Idris of what he wants. I have decided I want to have Slavia for sure, because I can use them in my Europa League, uh, Europa League conference videos. Fortunately, they got just eliminated now. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, so be it. I always liked both them. Uh, the problem with Sparta, was, Sparta, it's called Sparta, was that I didn't like the current home jersey, but I was hoping to check out the store and maybe the last season jersey, although where they just switched over to Adidas, maybe it's on half price. That would have been nice because I like it better with the white collar than the black collar. Ideally, I would have gone for the one two seasons earlier where they were still with Nike, where I had the three clubs colors on the collar. I think that looked really, really, really cool. I uh, missed that one. And so after visiting Prague Castle, I figured out, okay, you walk down there, there's tramway number 12. You take it for, I think it was three stops from Malostranska, and you're right in front of the stage in the end of the stadium. And um, worked like a peach. We walked in there, I got the shirt for Idris with printing, but you have to watch it on his channel. And I also picked up something for me. Unfortunately, the shirt was the shirt that I, uh, from last season, they were there, but they were still on full price. But I did something and uh, it's, I will probably have to rearrange now the scarves back there because I got myself a really, really nice Sparta scarf. 
when I saw that one, I basically I couldn't resist. You see Sparta, but then it has the whole Prague. I mean, it's not the, uh, the real skyline, but it's everything is in there going from one side to another. I really could not resist that one. Uh, and yeah, this will go somewhere very prominently. And I will uh, anyway, want, want, want to rearrange the scarves a little bit. But uh, that was really, really cool to have. So yeah. Goal number one, uh, semi-successful, but at least we have something from the Sparta fan shop, uh, don't know the jersey, maybe. Okay, that was that was actually my birthday, <laughs> and then on the next day, that was already the day where we were leaving, and you know, taking it easy, uh, I said, okay, we're just gonna drive down there, it's uh, the less than a five minute drive to the stadium but let's check out bohemians first and while we're leaving it was the 28th of october um i, I kind of there's not a lot of traffic and we get to bohemians and i see the stadium the dolly checks it's, it's really i mean the sparta stadium is really nicely located there's a huge park there it looks kind of isolated but then on one side there are all the buildings but it's really nicely located and you can see the Prague castle from there the Dolicek is much more a uh, classical neighborhood stadium with one big stand um, that is just there. And it, it, it's very ancient and very cool in a way. Um, and they were playing Slavia that weekend at home, which is is, is, is another is next level as well. But yeah, uh, parking there was not that easy, but I found a park, 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 but I was not sure if I'm allowed to stay there. Uh, so I, I told my wife and my kids, stay, stay, stay in the car and if not, just circle around if someone comes and says something. Uh, so I run over there and there's some workers and they stopped me immediately, although I saw the fan shop right there. And they talk in Czech to me and then uh, I, you know, I don't know, I understand Czech and then they get something and they say, is the Czech National Holiday Holiday, the fan store is closed. Oh man. So that's why there was no traffic. Big bummer. Big, 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 big bummer. And I remember texting the said, unfortunately, I cannot get your Bohemian shirt. I was so gutted. And at that moment, it was also clear to me, yeah, I probably will not get a uh, Slavia shirt either. But back in the car, driving to Slavia. Now the Slavia stadium is pretty cool, is really nice. Uh, the um, Letna stadium is kind of old school. It's a nice, it, it's for sure, if you go inside, it's a nice day stadium. Uh, the Dolicek uh, is very, very old school. The Slavia stadium is completely modern uh, and looks really cool. And they have all the former players. You have a museum there. So it's really uh, a really nice stadium with a mcdonald's in there and that was the only thing that was open i went to the slavia store and i saw the old slavia shirts they were on half price there i saw it and i saw the current one that i really liked even with printing i could have gotten it which was not uh able at the sparta fan so we would not have been able to get leak but slavia i would have been able to get the leak patches even and yes i was ready to spend an 80 there because on the day before we were strolling around uh, you know Wenzel squares and we saw an, Adi an Adidas store and a Nike store but they didn't have any jerseys in in there but fortunately my wife found something nice at the Nike store so I was completely gutted I was completely gutted yeah and then drive home you know we were kind of yeah da 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 discussing back and forth and I said yeah okay Let's see. My wife kind of tried to cheer me up and said, you know, it was not meant, meant to be. But I was, because I was so sad, that it's a Slavia shirt. But I said, okay, we didn't find a Puma store because that would have been in, in, injured because uh, Czech national team and uh, Slavia and Bohemians are with Puma. And I come home and it resent sent me a message that he had a personalized Puma 20% off code for me. And they had the Slavia shirt and he bought the Slavia shirt there. Um, and I said, okay, well, it's not directly from Prague. Let's order from Puma. And yeah, they had a Slavia shirt and they had a Czech Republic shirt. And yeah, they arrived today. I got them both. Let's go first with the Czech Republic because I said there will be no club shirts anymore. No, there will be. Uh, they had the Linden green one, but it was still a little bit too expensive. They had the current ones, of course, which I actually do like, but they were at full price. So I went with the 20% off, I think for a bit more than 20, 25 euros, the home jersey from Euro 2020. 
I have this from Euro 2008 with the old crest. I want to have one with the new crest. I think it's a pretty nice jersey. It's another crafted from culture. I'm getting the quite the crafted from culture collection already. So let's check it out. I know this was maybe not the very best. The Slavia shirt crafted from culture was, of course, the one that I, I would have loved to have. But there is a nice pattern in there. It is otherwise plain, but it's all what I expect from the Czech Republic. Uh, and it has, you know, it's just a lesser coat of arms in a way. I would have liked the blue to be a little bit uh, lighter, but I think it's a really, really nice shirt and the pattern in there. So have another Czech jersey. Uh, you know, a white one has to come my way sometime soon, but uh, I think it's a really nice one. And that would have, would have been enough, but fortunately they also had, had a Slavia, two Slavia shirts. They had the away jersey from last season where they lost to Lusk and at the home jersey as a player version. And after conversing with Idris a little bit, he um, told me, you know, the player version is rather tight. So I was breaking for, shall I get the light blue one, half, half look, or shall I get this one? I decided let's go for the home look. Yeah, they beat Lask 4-1 in that one, uh, but that's the player version. And I said, okay, with that 20% coupon, uh, that comes down to just above 40 uh, and that's decent enough and then I spent combined on these two shirts less than I would have spent at the Slavia store and it's also the first time that I have a player issue Puma jersey from last season so I am very very intrigued by that one and I gotta say it's a nice shirt as well so there's a lot of paper I'm sorry for all the noise But here it is. Let's take the paper here out as well. More paper. The Slavia home jersey from last season with light blue. Um, the star really nicely. I mean, I always, this is such, for, for me, it's a very, very classic and classy look. Also, unlike this season shirt, the sleeves are also alternate color. The, this season has one completely white and completely red aside. This is the more classic look. Uh, I'm very intrigued, you know, all these things here. Uh, the star is, um, this is still sewn on, um, but the Puma logos, this is really just a plastic transfer as are these marks here. So I will, and the sleeve cuffs also. So that's really, really interesting. Uh, once I wear it, it looks very breathable, especially up top, but yeah. Slavia Praha, I have a Slavia and it's sponsorless. Yeah, I actually won't have minded to get it with a sponsor too. But yeah, here it is. My new Slavia home jersey. So yeah, that's my story from Prague. I sort of got souvenirs from Prague, but not directly. In it. Believe it or not, the story gets even better. And I'm wearing the new Czech Republic jersey now. It's a couple of days after I have uh, shot the original unpacking video and holding it back. The Slavia shirt, by the way, that I've shown you is a double XL and it's still really, really, really tight. Just if you were ever to order from that particular season of Puma, it's very sturdy, but very tight, but on the other side, rather interesting. But as I said, the story gets even better. Let's roll back a story when I was at the Sparta fan shop where I got this beautiful scarf. Um, while I was roaming there and picking out the shirt for Idris and, and so on, we were mostly alone there. But suddenly there was a group of three people coming in. There was one guy um, in a pretty, you know, full <laughs> full bodied guy, let's put it that way, uh, with a very interesting Sparta shirt uh, that I actually thought this is this actually looks much better than any of the other other ones. It had kind of a uh, stripe, it was kind of striped in the Sparta colors, but on a white base and with the Sparta logo centralized. And this is the old Sparta logo, the one that I do like a tad bit more than the new one. And I thought, oh, that's a nice shirt that I actually would like to get. But as you know, I did not get anything at the Sparta store. However, I know that I have occasionally seen a Sparta Prague shirt. And, um, you know, 
never really regret it but now i do um that you know i didn't then ended up end up getting because it was uh rather cheaper you know here and there i see them and will have them and uh, it happened so that that evening i put in a regular search term okay whenever there's a sparta jersey uh popping up uh, i will be notified and you know i going for a home jersey or something like that maybe did and the only thing i popped was a yellow away jersey but it was in medium so uh will not do for me in any case the um, day that we came back the day after we came back i checked my listings and not only do i find a sparta shirt in my uh size or size that i can live with not only do i find a sparta shirt for 15 euros i find exactly the shirt that i saw that guy who entered the store and that was just too much of a coincidence and given that that was the, the price was so good i told my wife i just have to get it this is definitely size so uh this arrived today i originally wanted to unpack everything at once but it took a little bit longer uh so yeah that's why you get two videos i'm gonna open this i guess i have to destroy this box which i don't like to do and here it is <sighs> which is i mean yes the last thing is yes <laughs> that's it that's it i'm so pleased with this i'll show you yeah and it's an original as you can tell from the tag it is from the the away jersey from the 06 07 season now the uh they were wearing a fortuna sponsor which is definitely what i have to get i am not very pleased with the way that the crest is applied uh because it is just a sticker on there meaning uh, yeah i'm not sure how often i will wear this because of that because it might wear off but i actually really like the design because it's the sparta colors um on a white base i think i'm not even sure it should qualify as an away jersey but that's pretty pretty cool it's as i said for me 06 07 season and now the kicker to the story is the last time before I was in Prague this year was exactly during the World Cup in 2006. So would I have gone to the Sparta store back then? We did not have, we only stayed there for like a, few, a couple of hours or so. Uh, would I have gone to the Sparta store back then? I would have seen this jersey. I may have bought this jersey. Isn't that cool? So I have all of my, uh, I have two of my three Prague tri uh, trips very nicely connected with this jersey so and i have both of the big teams in prague now bohemians would be nice uh maybe next time around or whatever and again i really do like the old style sparta crest with the s uh with the white around and you know you have the colors there the new one has a white s on a black background but i actually really like this is what i'm used to let's put it that way pretty cool stuff and so yeah this concludes all my souvenirs from Prague. In any case, did you have such a story so far? I really would like to know. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel and hitting the little bell icon so that you can notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.